Well, hello, spiritual prayer warriors. I have a word that I need to share with you. This word was given to me last Sunday. As we were preparing for our service Sunday afternoon, worship was going, it was coming to an end. I was getting ready to come up onto the platform and the Lord spoke to me. I mean, it was strong, it resounded within my spirit. I had to just stop instantly and I, I on the back of my notes, I scribbled down the words that the Lord spoke to me and I wanna share them with you right now. The Lord said this, who thinks they can cancel me? Who thinks they can cancel those whom I have chosen for my purpose? Trump is still the trumpet. And boy, when I heard those words, I just knew that the Lord was saying, get the people's attention back where it belongs concerning the man with the hand of the Lord on him. Now, I knew he was talking about Donald Trump. President Trump, that he does have the hand of the Lord on him. But when he said he is still the trumpet, of course, my mind, my memory went back to that great prophecy by Kim Clement about this man being the trumpet of God. He is still trumpeting what the Lord wants him to say and to do in America. I am 100%, CK and I both, fully behind President Trump. Let me tell you a few things as to why. Remember, uh, because there are many of you who have not heard these stories, these visions uh, that I've had before, and I want to catch everybody up on the same page so that we're all operating speed and you understand exactly where this ministry is coming from. In April of 2016, I had an angelic visitation. At that particular point, it was the primaries for both parties, Democrat and Republican. And there were many people on both sides that were running for the candidacy. And so during that time, I was praying, I was watching. Now I like Trump, but I just was praying about what God wanted, what he was going to bring to pass. And so in a Thursday night prayer meeting, a group of people, I was walking around praying and an angel appeared to me. And the angel stood there on my right side and he said, the dogs of hell have been launched against the one with the hand of the Lord on him. Pray against false witness, hatred, and murder. Speak truth and justice into the atmosphere, and we, referring to the angels, will break their spiritual teeth, talking about diminishing their authority and their attack. While this was all going on, I realized it was a demonic attack that was coming against the one with the hand of the Lord on him, the one that God wanted. And while this was ensuing, the angel superimposed the face of Donald Trump, one of those primary candidates, right there. And that, that face was between me and the angel. I could see through uh, the face of Donald Trump, and see the angel, and then it shifted a bit. I saw a vision of Trump in his apartment. I saw Melania, some of those things. But here's the point. The Lord was saying to me at that point through the angelic visitation that Donald Trump was the one with the hand of the Lord on him. And so I knew at that point it was Donald Trump. And of course, he did win that election. Now, he said that the dogs of hell that false witness, there would be a lot of lies, rumors, fabrications, attacks coming against the man and also against those that supported him. That there would be hatred, which was the visceral contempt for the man. It just was, uh, uh, it didn't make any sense at all. And then there would be murder. When he said murder, I realized it was more of character assassination, the attempt to destroy a person, a human being, and who they are. Uh, and so we began to pray, speak truth and justice in the atmosphere, all of that. And it's still continuing. I think this is a renewed word for today in support of Donald Trump, because he has announced his candidacy for presidency in 2024. Now, that also leads me to something else that in 2020, after the presidential election, one of the things that the Lord told me, in fact, it was in a vision, 
And he told me to give Moses time to work. We realized there were some problems, okay, about the election process, etc. And God said, give Moses. Moses represented the laws and the courts of heaven and how that they were working to intervene and to come against and to uh, have influence in the laws and the courts of man. And so, you know, I wish that these things would all happen within 90 days. But being a prophet, I understand that sometimes we have to wait, not only for weeks, sometimes months, and sometimes even years before the fulfillment comes to pass. But a word is true. Old orders are good orders. And when the Lord says something, you stay true to it until he speaks again. And so I've been praying about that this whole time. And one of the things that's important for me to share with you right now is this is not only about America, but it's also about Israel. Israel is involved in all of this. The Lord spoke to me in 2014, and he said that to continue praying for America, intercede for America, uh, because Michael, the war angel, the prince of Israel, not only natural Israel, the nation of Israel, but spiritual Israel. The archangel Michael is the prince of spiritual Israel and defends it. He said that Michael is doing his job against the enemies of Israel, even those who are in political office in the United States. Now, I've shared all of these visions, all these words. They're right there on YouTube. It's easy to track down and, and to prove everything I'm telling you right now was done. It's accurate. And when President Trump was elected to the White House, I didn't see Michael at all during that entire four-year period. Now, preceding uh, 2017, when he was inaugurated, Michael had appeared to me about four times. By the way, all of this is in my new book. Uh, you'll be able to read it and so much more. Third Heaven Authority by Mike Thompson. It's going to be released on April 4th, and the, uh, it can be pre-ordered. Just go online, search it. You can pre-order through various distributors. And as Michael shared with me a lot of things about spiritual warfare, about, uh, about Israel, see the connection, America and Israel, that's what I'm getting a hold of right now and sharing with you. Immediately after Trump left the White House, Michael appeared to me again and said the threat has resumed. Trump was and is a friend of Israel. And that's one of the purposes that the hand of God was upon him, is to help Israel, as well as to shake things up here in America. Trump is the only one that can do it. You can name the names of a lot of people that you like, but I think there's only one man with the hand of the Lord on him that can accomplish these purposes of God. And until an angel appears to me again, or in some other way, the Lord speaks to me and says, I'm moving in a different direction, there's no way that I am going to change my mind about any of this. I'm going to follow the Lord completely. Now, something else. And that is that I've had several visions that the Lord has given me about Biden and his administration. The Lord showed me that the ruling political spirit of Jezebel, Jezebel, it's, it's a spirit that you read it in the Old Testament about Jezebel, Mary, Ahab, and how that she came in as a queen of Israel and brought um, idolatry into the nation, and it was a mess, and how she had to be destroyed uh, her hold, removed from Israel, uh, and then her daughter Athalia in Judah, their control. That spirit also in the book of Revelation, Jesus spoke to the church at Thyatira and told them they have something against you. And that is that you allow that prophetess Jezebel. Now Jezebel was not the name of the woman that was in the church of Thyatira. He was identifying the spirit, the same one that was in the Old Testament historical figure 
the queen there in Israel, the same spirit was driving this woman. And so we recognize that spirit. In 2004, the Lord began dealing with me about the ruling political spirit of Jezebel. Not just a spirit that sometimes operates in individuals, and I've seen that so many times. A spirit that sometimes comes in and tries to control families or congregations, etc. But one that had ruling capacity to attempt to control a nation. So that's why I call her the ruling political spirit of Jezebel. And so that is behind the far left agenda. And I saw in the spirit her attempt to move the nation away from the purpose and the counsel of God, the promises of God, the covenant with God that he had instilled into this nation with the founders. Um, but also that their agenda... I saw in the spirit looked like some kind of a dictatorship that you would think of like in Russia, China. I, I wasn't quite sure because it was slightly different. But that's where the purpose was going, controlling the people. And one of the visions that the Lord gave to me is he spoke to me about Biden. And he said that Biden had brought or allowed a curse to come upon himself. And that curse was that everything he touched would fail. It would just crumble, it was chaos, confusion, it wouldn't work, it would do opposite of what it was intended to. And he said the reason for it, and then he quoted in uh, John 10, where about him being the door, and the shepherd of the sheep, he said that anybody who comes up by another means is a thief and a robber. And he said that about Biden. He did not come up by my hand and by my means. He came up by his flesh and by his manipulation with power. It was a power-seeking agenda within his heart. And he said, therefore, this curse is there. Everything he touches will fail. We need success in America right now. During this whole process some years ago, an angel spoke to me. And the angel said, I want you to pray for America. And the way that you should pray for America is by using the Lord's Prayer. He said this was the Lord's Prayer for America. And he said, it's okay, I want you to change a few words. This is an angel speaking to me. And he said, just change a few words and give this prayer. Because anyone, regardless of their religious affiliation, their political affiliations, can pray this prayer in unison. And he said, I will use it. And here's what the prayer is. Listen to this. You know, from Matthew, the Lord's Prayer, only with some words changed. I want to reintroduce that. We did it for a long time, but CK brought this to my attention last night. She said, Mike, we haven't prayed this in a long time. I said, you're right, hon. I feel the Holy Spirit breathing on this right now. Let's reintroduce it. So I'm going to ask you if you would pray this this way every day in faith. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done in the United States of America as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now I want to pray with you. Again, this video is to share with you what the Lord has been speaking to me, a fresh word. Trump is still the trumpet. 
but also to point out and explain to any new followers that we have as to where we stand. I'm going to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every single person that's watching this video. Lord God, I pray that you would reveal yourself and your will for their lives in a dynamic way, Lord God. And as we pray this prayer, the Lord's Prayer for America, we release our faith in Jesus' name that it will come to pass. That you would raise up men and women of God, lion's army, worshiping warriors, the eagles, the prophetic warriors of God to speak forth to this nation and to do spiritual warfare. And I pray for those people now that as you do, move upon their heart and draw them in to that place of great accomplishment in the spiritual realm, that you would bring protection upon them. I pray for their physical bodies now in the name of Jesus for healing. I pray for their finances, for prosperity, and for the wherewithal um, financially to be able to accomplish everything that you've called them to be and to do. And Lord God, I pray for their families, their ministries in the name of Jesus Christ. And one of the things, I'm going to say this, if you've never heard me say it before, I don't have time to tell the entire vision, but I did have a vision where the, the lion of the tribe of Judah, that's why I call it the lion's army, the lion of the tribe of Judah, in this vision, a mighty lion, roared. And as he roared, words were in the roar. And the words and the roar went into the righteous warriors, men and women of God that were filled with the spirit and the holiness of God and called to intercession, called to great third heaven authority and going forth. And as it came into them, they spoke in unison against, they spoke these things to the enemy. And the words that were in the roar were, you have lost, we have won. I declare that now for every single chosen vessel of God now that has risen to take back America and to bring forth the purposes of heaven into this nation now. We all speak it forth against the demonic forces you have lost, we have won, in Jesus' name. God bless you. I'm going to ask you that if you would, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook channel, Rumble channel, and if you would, go to our website. And while you're there, there should be a link in the description. Consider sowing into the anointing and the revelation on this prophetic ministry and reaping the prophet's reward. God bless you.